So hello everyone. So I first of all welcome the two students who have made us proud by securing an excellent result in the INSS exam. Uh, Dr. Somak, rank three, and Dr. Rahul, who stopped the exam. Mm, congratulations, guys, for that tremendous achievement. Thank you, Thank sir. Uh, the exam was conducted on April 27th, and this exam had 80 questions with one-third negative marks. Now, these questions were almost spanning all specialties, but yes, uh, theoretically, 60% was supposed to be from the specialty we're appearing for. And 40% questions, they generally span from general orthopedics. These specialties you can apply for in INSS would include arthroplasty, sports medicine, spine and pediatric orthopedics. Although the number of seats are pretty limited as of now and they are ever increasing, but you can only apply for a single specialty. And if you have applied for a particular specialty, say arthroplasty, uh, which is actually the most popular specialty for MCH orthopedics, uh, the exam would have maximum questions from that specialty, ideally 60%, and then 40% of the questions would span from other specialties. Now, once you've given the exam and the result comes, the score is given to you. And in fact, in case you are into, you know, into the top list, which means you are within that zone, uh, the number of seats would be multiplied by three. Say, so suppose there are three seats, they'll be multiplied by three, nine candidates. So those nine candidates, top nine candidates with the score would be taken up and they would be given the access to the interview. The interview would be taken in an online manner where a panel of experts would interview and then they will give you your final ranks. So those final ranks have come up and in arthroplasty, the most preferred specialty, Dr. Rahul has stopped and Dr. Somar is just way behind with rank three. So both of them are in that zone where the three seats that are there in the tray, they can all hunt for it. So we have seat right now at Ames, Raipur, Ames, Batinda, and Ames, Pupa. Fair enough. Yeah. So Dr. Somak, yes, sir. we have a short introduction of yours. You are from Ames, Raipur. I think just the perfect candidate to have in the interview because that's one of the college, you know, where a seat is available. So can you just introduce yourself and let us know uh, how come, you know, you come across so far Yes. Sir, I did my MBBS from Calcutta Medical College, 2014-20 batch. Then I joined M. Raipur uh, uh, from 2020-23. to 23. And last year, August, I had passed my MS exams. And from August, I have, I have, been, I have been doing my uh, senior residency in M. Raipur itself. I have hey. completed nine months, sir, almost. So, so it's not even been a year of senior residency and you've been able to crack the exams. And now it's such a marvelous language, excellent feat. And uh, you did it from Ames Raipur. So you have a very good fair idea of Ames Raipur and the workload and everything there. And we'll just ping you upon it in a little while and uh, try to snatch all the information from you. Uh, but before that, I'll just welcome Dr. Rahul also and congratulate him for topping the exam. Uh, Dr. Rahul, Thank you, sir. Can you know a little bit about you also. Uh, sir, uh, hello, I'm Rahul. And uh, I've done my MBBS and uh, MS Ortho from Trivandrum Medical College, Kerala. I belong to the 2020 MS Ortho batch. I've uh, graduated in 2023 and I'm currently doing my senior residency in the same institute, Trivandrum Medical College. I'm uh, four months into my senior residency and uh, I had given this exam in April and uh, currently awaiting counseling, sir. Okay, so just, just four months into your senior residency. So I yes. see a lot of young blood, you know, now coming up. And perhaps I think that's the reason because you somewhere down the line, you are predestined and pre-prepared that you're going to hunt for a super specialty. Is it so? Um, sir, I had always thought of giving FNB. Uh, I never thought of giving this this exam, but uh, since I've given it and have uh, scored well, I think I'll go for this. It's so, like that. So that. This was actually thought, unexpected. Yes. So that thought of giving a super specialty exam. So yeah, that was it. While you were doing your PG? Uh, that was that kicked in during the final part of my final year, I guess. That's okay. when I started preparing. Final part of your final year, wonderful. And within a year or so, you know, you've been able to achieve such a marvelous feat. That's excellent, uh, Dr. Rahul. We congratulate you once again for that. Uh, Thank you, sir. Over the last few years, you know, I have interviewed many students. Fortunately, you know, we've been lucky enough at Target Auto to be in touch with most of the toppers. And I've particularly realized a lot of people from South India, you know, making it up to the top of the list. So I think some kind of a training goes where the seniors keep you pinging on that right in the PG days, we 
you know start thinking about something extra no sir nothing like that goes on here academics wise uh, it's quite normal okay. seniors don't actually trouble you about studies uh, they just trouble you about work in the ward okay yeah <laughs> ma okay uh, dr somak so can you just help us know a little bit about your preparation days like how when did you actually start the preparation seriously how many hours would you generally devote for this and were you able to you know devote those hours despite your uh, work schedule yes sir actually i uh, started my preparation for fnb so okay. i had taken up uh, target or so in november and towards the end of november 2023 so from that time i um, saw the division of means i had plans of both fnb and mcs so um, i thoroughly went through um, three sections of fnb and uh, general ortho i used to just go through the target ortho question banks and so daily i around 3 4 hours i used to study sir ap- apart from my duty that 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 much time i think it was it it is possible for most of the students sir. so yeah. there after i cleared fnb in uh, in we had fnb in 3rd of march yes uh, so i cleared fnb and there i was very much confident that i will get a seat in fnb so i had secured a rank of 16 in fnb after that i i didn't study at all i was pretty much sure i was about to take up spine fnb and all but i had that glitch that i had to give a iniss also i need to uh, score in mch So somehow I managed to give the that was completely unprepared I N I S S but the F N B preparations helped me a lot in I N I I N I S S also. Okay, so so the 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 key is that you should you know prepare and then give all the exams that come your way, and then your opinions might change as you you know gather the ranks. So that's what we learn from your case. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. So what all preparation material you went through during these months? You know when you had put in your preparation. into the go mode sir uh, i used to study mainly target ortho app and uh, ortho bullets and just for the plasty and spine section i used to follow campbell because oh. i interested in both so uh, so for uh, plasty and spine i used to follow campbell target ortho mcqs and the uh, explanation of the mcqs uh, and ortho bullets in entirety so like theory so, part so it was uh target ortho bitten pinches of ortho bullets and bitten pinches of campbell that you know you added up to spice up your preparation uh yes. in target ortho did you also go through the videos sir uh mainly banked upon the question bank so mainly the question bank but in again in arthroplasty spine section and neurosurgery section i had went through the videos Okay, so you went through the videos in a selective way in the areas you felt that you know you need to get that extra edge, and you went through the question bank. So were you satisfied with the quality and content of the question bank? Definitely, sir. The question bank of target or say something else, sir. Okay, so that's great. That's well, it's a you know um, great. Uh, you would say that I I cannot expect more than that. You know, uh, uh, when you say that, but anyhow, that that keeps the teacher also going and then. you know we try improving the things as much as we can that's wonderful okay uh, dr rahul what was the yes, scenario sir. on your side you know you also did it so fast in such a fast track mode just few months and you know you've been able to top the exam so how did you shape up your preparation during these months uh so actually i did it along with my ms ortho exam final exam preparation and also i'd given the dnd exams so uh, along with the theory i was actually kind of uh, i have never read any textbooks i mostly used online material okay. uh target ortho and ortho bullets is what i mainly used similar okay. to dr sumak and uh, and the theory part i think i i got enough from the uh, ortho bullets mcqs and uh, target ortho mcqs along with some videos i have uh, watched selected videos videos are excellent your classes are awesome sir thank you for uh, thank you okay. and uh, the q bank also it's very informative Okay. and uh, you know i kind of do everything on my ipad you know i compile stuff from here and there from the internet and uh, from certain t- pages from certain textbooks i compile everything into one uh, single file and then that's how i work so yes, yeah. wonderful enough okay so both of you have been satisfied you know with the content and target of that's excellent and uh, perhaps you know i think regularity was one of the thing i could notice in your preparation although you know you did not prepare for too long but you were regular with the preparation you know and yeah, yes. you were able to manage time despite being at work which is the best yeah, 
ിറ്റി specialty of your choice and a place of your choice and it's very much possible that decisions would change if you clear another exam the other option would sometimes look more lucrative and if you're giving all the exams coming your way and you're gathering all the ranks you can eventually make the perfect choice for you dr soma coming down to that golden point you know now you are a person with both hands you know full of sweets so you have cleared the fnb with such a wonderful rank and you have cleared the INSS with such an excellent rank again. So what is your now final take on it? Where are you going to proceed? What is there in your mind? Uh, most probably with MCH orthoplasty itself, sir. Uh, oh. Actually, till now I'm confused. And I think uh, it's uh, taking a decision is more difficult than preparing for the exams. Okay. <laughs> of course, this is so... So I I have already shared you know earlier also with you. So my take I generally rate FNB a little over MCH as of now. As of now I would say, uh, because FNB being little more older degrees, little more well programmed, uh, uh, two years gives you the time edge also than three years in MCH. Uh, FNB is mostly in centers where the workload is higher. So somewhere down the line you know your exposure is little better in FNB and. Uh, perhaps you know uh, i would say ki it's a little more well known degree because it is the older out of the two uh, but you know mch again is no way a less degree because after all it is actually a true degree and then you know from an institute like aims adds to the certainty of the degree in a much much effective way so definitely it's a tough decision and i think you have to take the call i see in future mch growing far rapidly than even fnb that's what my prediction is because you know after all orthopedics is getting badly saturated and you will have to take on a call you know sooner or later in your life which you guys have done so well so early i would congratulate you for that but yes take your call as per your convenience and of course you know your understanding but yes both branches have something or else extra but uh, eventually what suits you the best is to be chosen by you So, Ames Raipur, you have been happy enough to see the uh, arthroplasty work till now there, or you intend to shift to some other Ames, but in Dar Bhopal now. Sir, actually, in Ames Raipur, it's satisfactory itself, and in as much as I have heard in Bhopal and uh, Bhatinda also, it's more or less the same, sir. All the Ames are, I feel, more or less it is same, sir. More or less the same. So, you are also almost satisfied with the work you have in Raipur. Okay. Yes, Dr. Rahul, so you are going to the one person you have to just pick and choose because you know you are at the top of the list. So Rishikesh, which is the oldest, you know, amongst the oldest aims, where most of these branches actually started, right now is not offering the arthroplasty seat because that has gone into the sponsored scenario. Sponsored. But even though that's gone into for the sponsored candidate, you still have a choice for uh, Raipur, Bhopal and Bhatinda. So, what is your rating for these colleges as per you know informations you have gathered? Sir, uh, I have no previous experience with Ames, but uh, as per the information I've collected, uh, like Dr. Sumak said, uh, it's pretty much the same across all uh, the different oh, Ames. Yes. And uh, Raipur or Bhopal, uh, either of those two are my choices because Bhatinda is very far away from home, and uh, Bhatinda you know, is very far away from me. Of course, logistical you know, reasons. I am a Punjabi, so my inclination will be to go to Bhatinda, na, and enjoy the food and language over there. And of course, yeah. you know, from the south side of the country. So perhaps Bhopal yes. will be much convenient location for you to make travel, stay yeah. and adjust. Yeah. Yes, absolutely right. So I also yes. feel that, you know, in 
these aims it's more or less the same scenario and, yes. and perhaps uh, i think none of them are offering robotic courses navigation courses it's right now basic arthroplasty plus and revision mm. cases mm. but then still i feel that you're getting a good chance to read and learn perhaps mm. because i think in this stage of life there is no real teacher the teacher is you yourself if you mm. presume yourself to be a student and you know you are reading and seeing and learning and grasping nothing but can happen and the mcs degree is giving you that license right now otherwise you will enter into the race of life and all these academic things would be gone so perhaps all aims would serve the same purpose and very much you know logical to uh, choose the you know place where you will be more comfortable with food language and travel makes sense mm -hmm. and have you inquired about the stipend part also uh yes sir uh, one of my friends uh, does uh, dm uh, in aims bhubaneswar uh he is getting 1.2 lakhs per month okay 1.2 lakhs per month that's a very good uh, oh. and and dr somak are you going to yes, get sir. a salary hike or you're going to stay on the same salary as no no sir actually um as much as i know sir academic and non academic sirs get the same salary sir almost same okay so even if you continue here as the mch candidate your salary is almost going to remain the same yes Oh, wonderful, wonderful, ma. So three seats in arthroplasty, but yes, um, uh, Rishikesh has a seat in spine also, pediatric or ortho also, and sports medicine also. So those options remain for the candidates who applied for those degrees. And PGI, I suppose, has a pediatric orthopedic seat for mm -hmm. NCS as far as I know. So those seats can also be you know opted by candidates who appear for that. But arthroplasty generally tends to be, you know, the lookout branch for an orthopedic surgeon. I would say dream branch for an orthopedic surgeon. And these two people have, you know, just done wonders and made us proud. So once again, you know, I would congratulate you both guys. Of course, I would thank, thank you, you both guys for, you know, making yes, us so proud. Because thank this you. kind of a result keeps the teachers also going and, you know, gives them a boost. So stay in touch, guys. Many, many congratulations and wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So great to be in touch with you guys. Great to speak to you. And uh, we have spoken, you know, before the exam and before the interviews also. And yes. I like, uh, say this, stay in touch. And anytime you guys come over to Delhi, um, I would welcome you to meet up also. Okay? Sure, sure. Thank, okay. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Keep going. And Thank Sumak, you. have a good thought. I know, you know, you've achieved a wonderful feat, but a tough decision and a tougher decision, I would say. Don't give me <laughs> one. You have to choose between the two. But take your own call because things could go either way in future. Okay. And Rahul, all the best. Go and join MCH. I am a very big proponent of that fact that, you know, plain orthopedics is too less now. There should be something added to your... Uh, degree, you know. So I would encourage you to go ahead and read. Okay. Okay, sir. All the best, guys. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.